Welcome guys to a new episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Hope you guys are well. This is part 14. I've woken up about 6.30 on a Sunday morning and I just jumped out of bed. I'm going to play Red Dead straight away. <laughs> Basically, I just love this game. So, the last episode and also part 12, you have to watch. Like, it's... There's such big parts. One minute I was herding sheep and then the next minute there's a massive, massive gunfight in Valentine, uh, basically Cornwall uh, had found Dutch and he wants revenge because we stole those uh, those bonds from his train. Uh, one of the first missions in the game. That's the thing about being an outlaw, uh, a criminal, things eventually catch up with you. And that's, it keeps happening to, um, to Dutch Vandalin's gang. So yeah, I think we're gonna be moving now, I believe. So say goodbye to this camp. I believe we are off. We are leaving. Bye-bye. No. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find some place sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? It turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. I can see why he's quite angry. I think he wants to be more... He realizes he's an outlaw. 100%. But he doesn't want to go about the killing, the unnecessary killing. And we just slaughtered a whole town, basically. Like a little village or whatever you want to call it. A settlement. All right, Dutch. What are we doing now? I guess we're leaving. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Now, where have I heard that before? Every goddamn day. All I do is work. I'm an errand boy. Sorry, I couldn't resist. So this is our oh. next uh, camp, I guess. Ideally, I guess. I'll say that things might go wrong, and this might not be our camp next. What do I know? Pretty set a waypoint. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. And fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwalls, man. They must know where we are by now. They're gonna know, aren't they? 100% right, I'm gonna set a waypoint. So this actually blew me away the other day. I saw this on Twitter. If you hold the, the start button, it brings up the map. I did not know that. That literally is a lifesaver. <laughs> right, let's set a waypoint. Weirdly, we've got a bit of bounty on the river. So we've got to be careful there. And it's very close to that bounty. Annoyingly. Right, come on, Charles. I like Charles. Sense of all can shoot, oh. of course. Good guy. A very good guy. Come, Charles, keep up. We're heading in. Uh, before this video started, um, I fed Bonnie. I fed Arthur. So we're good to go. Stamina's full, health's full. So okay, Bonnie, a brush. South? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? 
Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as rough. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah. They've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. What is it? What is it? It's two men on a horse. You idiot. It's actually a slight bit of bounty on this. Um, I think that must be stretch. it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. You want to go here? This does not seem like a good idea. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Yeah. Someone on the ground. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. Someone on the ground. Or dead. That's a bad sign. Is he alive or just drunk? He's been shot. Oh. Let's be careful, Arthur. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. You stop. Uh ah. I need my horsey. There you are. I need some guns. Give it to me. Give me my guns, please. Uh, yep, carbine. I think I'm going to need a sniper for this. Maybe a shotgun, though. That should be good enough. You see there? Tents and a wagon. Looks deserted. Okay, well, let's have a look around and make sure. Somebody was here fairly recently, but not anymore. Anybody. Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. And being careful. Hmm. Seems a bit suspicious. This cart, perhaps? Is anyone here? Somebody hiding? I can search it. Someone's here, Someone's I reckon. <laughs> oh, wow. It's okay. It's okay. Come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. Are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Ah. It's German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? Hey, no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. See, we can be helpful from time to Let's time. See if we can pick up a trail. There, tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. Why would they just take the father? What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breeding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. 
come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Hold up. Let me check this. Okay. Looks like they go down this way. What down here? All right, Charles. I'll follow you. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack, said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait a second. Just want to look closer here. That is sabuki. Fog. Lots of it. Continues along the shore here. What was I talking about? Oh, bastards told me they'd killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah. But he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. That's a good point. It's a big gang and they all care for Jack. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. Careful. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was rich. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. We're going quite far, aren't we? They carry on along this trail. Potentially, we might so, find another camp, maybe. Yeah. When Jack was real young, a long while, a year ago, he did, and we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. Oh, There's see a, a fire. Camp up ahead. Be careful. So oh. the camp for the settler. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. We're going to get ambushed. I know it. 100%. Why are there so many abandoned camps today? Weird. So where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. True. Maybe. Oh. He's there. This looks like our feather, Charles. Quick, cut him free. Let's get out of here. Oh. That, I told you, didn't I? I brought it towards you. Freaking right knew it. Where the hell are they? Boom! Boom! Oh yeah, good start. This can get rid of this land and it can come else. This Charles guy just got shot. What gang is this? Pretty well to be honest. And you too, my friend. Tag him. Tag him and bag him. Explosion. Last one's making a run for it. Take him down. Where, where, where? Where? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Can't see him. Now we gotta report him. I wonder where he went. Ah! Damn it! Idiot. Well, that's them dealt with. You get him untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. She's in the back. Gonna search for some loot, my friends. We're gonna need it. We're moving soon. So perhaps we can move here. That might be a good shout. Cut him free. Potentially. Him I'll cut him free in a minute. Just doing some looting. I don't want to get on my horse. Or oh, this is some random horse. Might be Charles' horse. 
Loot, loot, loot. I thought you wanted to get this over with, Arthur. I will, I will. Bitte, lass mich gehen. Please let me go. Machen Sie mich right. los. Where is he? See, that was worth it. A gold pocket watch. Come on. Lovely. He looks in some pain there. Right, cut him free. It's okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Here you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Turn a settler to his family. I can do that. Jump on my friend. So back to what you were saying. All right, come on. I'll take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? Yeah. I got no idea what you're saying, my friend. I'm gonna set a new waypoint just to here. A German family. They should be happy. They might even join up. Who knows? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not at all, actually. I'm going the wrong way. Great. Oh well. I will not divert my course. I don't think it's actually a road, that's why. It's just a off the beaten track. It's the more direct approach. So. What brings him in? What the hell did you do to those fellas? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld? Money. Money. Always money. Gold money in business. Oh. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yep. Is this way definitely okay? I'm going completely. Yeah, it should work. Yeah, it should be fine. A more direct approach. So, he, does he own a gold mining business? What? Yeah. Let's hit a rabbit. Apparently, there's like a challenge for that. So, hit like five rabbits with a horse. So, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> Give it a go if you want to. I don't think this game would be so much harder there they are. without Dead Eye. Oh, God, so dank. Schatz! Oh. Oh. Andreas, Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wärst du gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here, this place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Go bar. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Just gave me a gold bar. He's now tempted to rob him. <laughs> so, uh, should I let them go? A gold bar. How much is that worth? You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. So we have completely moved. Uh, we're now into chapter three. Chapter two was long. It was very, very long. I don't know if every chapter is that long or not, but that was that was a decent period of time. A few days later, see now the camp is all set up. Now got to earn some money. How much for that gold bar? Okay, now you really need to shave. Strangers camps. What did I do wrong then? What did I do wrong? Getting five headshots. Apparently there might be a slight glitch with like headshots and stuff, like picking them up. I don't think I got five anyway, but um, I've read a few comments about that. Uh, return the captive to his family within one minute and 40 seconds.
points. I wasn't quite quick enough. Whoops. I was probably looting too much, to be honest. Um, so I think I have to sell that gold bar. New horses are available in Scarlet Meadows and Strawberry Stables. Okay, good to know. Is Strawberry now a fan of us? I would imagine that's not the case. 100% not the case. You never know. What's this? A hay bale. Where's this going? To the horses? Morning. Morning. Do you worry that maybe we've lost our way? How do you mean? <sighs> Ignore that. I won't pretend ignorance. I know just what you mean. But I don't know. Things seem bad. The world is changing and... I'm not making much sense, am I? <laughs> the world is changing for them, but the... The outlaw scene is um, is stopping. The law is coming. They have money. They're determined. They're gonna wanna. They're gonna what? They they wanna take out every outlaw in the West, basically. We could be the last of these folk. Uh, I should probably should I have a shave. Hair starting to look very long. You can just leave it and never cut it. And it sort of ends up looking a little bit, I think, like John Marston when he has that very, very like long hair. I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. I would probably cut it myself, but from you behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll. Sir. Sure. <laughs> sure. How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They they they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it you. All right, the random quest well, Thank you, sir. <clears throat> I think he's a good man. Karen's a good man. We should probably have a shave, I think, if we can. Yeah, companions will ask you to retrieve certain items. Uh, can I shave? Yes, I can. That is starting to look a little bit long. Seems like I just shave it all off. You can shave just the moustache bit. Just the chin bit. The chops. It's all up to you, really. Uh, let's go for all facial hair. Just give it a nice... Completely off that hair starting to look very long. What does it remind me of? Perhaps like Brad Pitt back in the day. Tiny bit. <laughs> Looking good, Arthur Morgan. Yeah, let's trim that back. There we go. Here's a haircut. But for that, we need to go to town. So, yeah. What would be the nearest town here? I'm guessing Dutch might tell us to... Uh... Oh, I've just seen that. Over the water. Black water. Wanted dead or alive. Strawberry, yeah, Strawberry's really far away. And there's still a bounty on us as well. So I'm not keen on doing that. Um, but I might do a little task on the side. So let's... Home robbery? Are you sure about this? I, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure this is a great idea, but okay, fine. I guess we can do that. I guess it sort of shows you potentially you can do these house robberies for a little bit of money. That's basically, I think, what happens. Right, where is he? He did, he did actually ask for our help earlier on, but I sort of ignored it. I was helping John out. Do you want some help? Javier. I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... Said it was really... Freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. 
They're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Yeah, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. He often does need a, a, a good wash. Up north, <laughs> on the other side and a haircut. Of the from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Where's the go, girl? Good. It might be quite far away. I've got no idea. Okay, I think it's just gonna cut there. Whoa. We're gonna fast travel. Is it? Okay, we're pretty close <coughs> now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. Alright, let's go. So these guys are probably going to know how to use a gun. I would imagine. Look at his seat, by the way. His saddle. Oh, detail on that. Spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently... This family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, slight little glitch there. Oh, big place, right? That is pretty big. <sighs> you got your binoculars? I think I do, sir. I think I do. Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. Stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Well, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow, and... I got an idea. Follow me. Oh, by the way, this is a complete side mission. Don't have to do this. Um, I just thought, why not? <laughs> Could do a bit extra dosh. Why is that gold? Trees, I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Oh, they're going to wake up. Don't worry about that. No doubt at all. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Okay, now we hear voices. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Stay close. I'm trying. Just stay quiet. Creepers, Finn. Don't score notions in the Dippy Plymouth's head. That free man, perhaps? Where you been now, noob? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I has gone for ten minutes, I was. You can holly gag all day day long. Cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, oh, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt on. Cool, man. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, huh? Weird language. Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Don't mind me. Got a rock over that rock here. Doesn't seem like the best place to hide. 
but fair enough. This rock here? No, that's not. That's RB. What are you doing? There we go. Right, so what's the distraction? I'm intrigued. What's he doing? Oh, fire. Okay, that's a distraction. Oh, swanking heck! <laughs> what is that? What the hickory happened here? Take him out. We got to put this out, don't you? Oh. Hey! Oh, oh yes. Now. It has started. Oh, that's still I can't do. Ah, what happened there? There we go. Headshot. Something just would not lock on. Right, dead eye. Let's move. This is a very good place. Move. Move, move, run, 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 run. This is a good place. I like it. Where are they? I see them, I see them. Stay steady. No, he's dead. Look at Marco, but I doubt he's dead. Ooh, so it's a she. Shoot good. I think there's two people in here. I don't know where they are, though. Oh, there you go. See them. There we go. Stay down. Who's he looking at? <laughs> Alright, look for the stash. Alright, got it. Let's check in there first. That's the bar at the back. Moonshine. Give myself a little bit of dead eye in case some more turn up. Um, chewing tobacco. Fully restores dead eye and fortifies slightly. Slightly damages the oh, dead eye core. Mm, don't want that. I want dead eye core as well. Uh, that's more like a cigarette you need for that. Cigar. So that increases the, the core. That's what I want. There we go. That's good. Right, so what's in here? Has to be under here. There's no place else that could store it. Hey Arthur, give me a hand here. I'm coming. So that they, you reckon there's like a secret compartment underneath there? Please be some dogs. Yes. <coughs> Ooh. Uh. What is that? Look what we have here. Oh. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah. You take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. Why is Arthur coughing so much? Is he cold? Well, it's quite nice weather. Uh, could lose some more corpses. No one's here, no one's seen the crime. No laws nearby. Not that I know of, anyway. I could have a quick look in the house, can I? Got some sage, lovely. I even love the animation for the, um, ooh, I've been requested. Ah! Who's that for again? Uh, they, that was the sage, some sort of route for Kieran, wasn't it? I've got it already. Nice. Not bad at all. What's this? Ooh, some crackers. 
Just what I wanted. It's like a little upstairs compartment as well. I mean, I'm in no rush. Can loot all this place. And no one's coming back, hopefully. Ooh, this could be... A weapon. Ooh. What is it? It's like a shotgun. Yep. Could do have a good clean, but... Apart from that, it's pretty nice. Yeah, give it a nice little clean. Uh, maintain it. Or not. Doesn't seem to be working. Right, head back down. we still got a repeater. Um, I'll go to the weapon. Oh, yeah. Go to the weapon wheel and clean your pump action shotgun. See that um that slightly grayed up bar? That's because the condition is so bad, basically. If you clean it, it did look dirty actually, I noticed it straight away. It should sort weapon out. It is done. Accuracy is still a slight issue, apparently. Right, so that is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I've done a little bit more searching, but I don't really find too much. So we have a new shotgun. Uh, there is different rounds, actually. I keep forgetting about that. So for the repeater, for example, if we go to the higher velocity rounds, see a slight increase there on damage and range. So I might have to use those at some point. I might actually equip them now. Why not? Why not? That's a good little set of guns, I reckon. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Yeah.